So now in the last video we made a comparator circuit using this 747 dual op amp comparator and so there's two op amps within this they're both powered uh, negative side of the power supply to the middle pin on the left here so fourth pin up or fourth pin down it's actually pin number four working your way down one two three four five six seven and then you jump across eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and so they put two op amps on there and uh, there's also the offset null pins and and uh, whatnot but uh, they save two pins from using two independent op amps so in any case it's just uh, another thing to experiment with I have this from a op amp kit that I got so in any case we have our virtual ground up here the voltage is set we're gonna use 18 volts because uh, I have a power supply that goes up to 18 volts and we're gonna split the rail with uh, this op amp it's good to use as much voltage as you can without exceeding its limits and I think its limits are worst case scenario for the 741 I think it's uh, 18 volts positive and negative so we have 18 volts we're splitting it so we'll have 9 volts positive and negative so we'll have 9 volts here at the non-inverting pin and uh, the inverting input I should say input non-inverting input the inverting input is connected directly to the output right there and so what that's going to do is we have 9 volts here it's going to hold 9 volts there based on the negative feedback it will do whatever it needs to do to hold that 9 volts and the output has a load here these are indicator LED circuit polarity indicators so I have the red one going to the uh, resistor there long lead anode short lead cathode going to our virtual ground and the green LED is the opposite the short lead the cathode is connected to the LED long lead the anode is connected to our virtual ground and the other side of the resistor comes to the output of the other op amp so this output is three pins down second pin down is the positive power pin this is the opposite we got positive pin two pins up and then the output three pins up right there so they have the same wiring but they're opposite one starting from the top to bottom or top to middle I should say the other one from bottom to middle now for uh, this circuit we already have our negative feedback that's uh, this resistor here going to uh, the negative rail for our signal we're going to use the light dependent resistor so its resistance changes based on how much light is falling on it more light less resistance less light more resistance and so with a bright enough light this basically becomes a perfect conductor and uh, pretty close to a perfect conductor so we uh, we have to consider sometimes this might be about zero ohms of resistance and there we go finally got the leads in and let's turn a little bit more towards the light but in any case it's uh, good enough so we're dealing with 18 volts uh, this is a 3 kilo ohm resistor 3000 ohm resistor it actually works pretty well for this circuit and don't go much lower than that though because we're dealing with 18 volts you'll run into power issues so the pin there doesn't input any power for the most part just a very small amount of current leaks in otherwise it just looks at the voltage and that's that's it for the uh, input and uh, so all the current that uh, the rail here is gonna provide and goes through the light dependent resistor and that resistor so we have to limit that since we're dealing with 18 volts you can use other voltages lower voltages or whatnot it may make a few differences to the circuit though so in any case let's turn the uh, power supply on we have 18 volts and I have this wired so that unless it's dark the red LED is on so I'm gonna turn this off so now it's dark it's not terribly dark and this is a uh, low wattage uh, light bulb but you can see we can make it darker too the it's just a polarity indicator letting you know basically there's a point where it gets dark enough where the output changes and we're using op amps so it's the current is actually changing directions instead of just turning a light on and off so here we have an oscillation going on this is a it moved because I, I blocked the light a little bit but uh, here we have oscillations this is a certain uh, light point and uh, so it's not a perfect comparator 
right here because it shouldn't do that it should be either one or the other but uh, in any case it's just something to uh, experiment with these are just demonstration circuits not so much practical circuits you have to find uh, solutions to problems if uh, you have a particular circuit with particular needs so this one is just more playing around with the 747 op amp and seeing what it can do so let's go get a voltage reading again and so as I said we set the voltage at the output with these two resistors and so we can go to the uh, negative rail and that was the light doing that so you can see where these two resistors come together in relationship to the negative rail we have 9 volts and so if I go to the jumper here that goes to the output pin we have 9 volts it's holding that pretty uh, pretty steadily so we can now consider this to be our zero volt reference point it's halfway and it's going to hold that the best that the integrated circuit can so we have negative volts to the negative rail and now positive 9 volts to the positive rail negative 9 volts negative rail and uh, so that's what this op amp is looking at because the circuit the load ends at our zero volt reference point and so we can see right now with the red LED we're in a positive voltage we cover the light dependent resistor I mean so a light dependent resistor has enough light on it to give us a positive voltage and now it's too little light to have a positive voltage so it's a low enough light level to drop us to a negative uh, voltage right there and then the output change so we have alternating current right there and uh, so it's outputting when it's positive 8 volts we looked at that in, in an earlier video and when it's negative it's uh, negative 6.4 volts so it's one or the other that's right let's go to uh, ground there and uh, this this makes it nice it's pretty easy to to uh, cover the light so there we go positive 8 and then uh, 6.7 in the negative so it's all putting a little bit more voltage than it was before for whatever reason but uh, in any case it's a comparator and uh, it's just bringing the voltage either above or below zero volts because that's what we set to the negative uh, or to the inverting input so hopefully that all made sense these are all circuits that uh, you should be studying in like books and stuff but uh, building just simple demonstration circuits will really make it a lot easier to understand what uh, the circuits are actually showing you in schematic form and stuff so you should practice that and uh, you'll get to know the uh, integrated circuits better I'm learning a lot by building these I spent a lot of hours reading at work about uh, op amps and stuff and it, it helps a lot to to uh, understand what's going on when you're building the circuits but ultimately you still have to build those circuits you can't really just go by reading it uh, alone so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video